Hey everybody, Neely Thompson here at the Cook's Warehouse. Um, it's been a minute since we've done a video, so it's good to see you. Um, hope y'all are all staying safe, and I'm sure like many of you, you're starting to think about your Thanksgiving feast, um, albeit this year a little bit smaller. I know that I'm cooking for myself, my husband, and my toddler. Um, so this is gonna be a completely different experience than it ever has before. Um, but I'm still really excited about it. I'm still going all out and I'm not any less enthusiastic about all of the fantastic Thanksgiving goodies we have for you at the Cook's Warehouse. Um, you know, as you know, I work in a toy store. So I went around today and I pulled all my Thanksgiving must-haves and these work whether you're cooking for two or cooking for 10. And I just thought I'd share them with you and tell you a little bit about why I like them. And uh, if anything interests you, just come stop by, come find me, come find Paul. We will talk about all things turkey with you in the next coming weeks until it's that special Thursday. So let's get started. Let's talk a little bit about turkey. All right, so we're gonna start with brine. We get questions all day, every day in the month of November about what brine recipe do you brine? Do you not brine? And it is completely personal choice. Um, but what I will say is if you're looking for something that is really easy, really flavorful, the beautiful briny sea salt, the bird bath turkey brine, this is fantastic flavor profile. It's literally just mix it with water and brine your turkey in it. If you're doing a smaller bird, you can save the rest to use for pork chops or chicken, um, but it tells you how to do that. Um, even better, it is a small local Atlanta company, so we are huge advocates of supporting local all the time, but these days in particular. Um, so a really good product to brine your turkey with. All right, next on to something that we also get a lot of questions about, roasting pans. And I'm gonna show you two of my favorite options because I think we're all doing something different this year. Um, so this is our all clad stainless roasting pan. This is the roasting pan that's gonna last you forever. You're gonna pass it on to your kids. So really just the best of the best. This one is the smaller size and even better, it is on sale right now for $99. That is, that is a steal. And so this one is kind of made for a smaller bird. So you're obviously not gonna be able to cook that 26 pound bird. You probably shouldn't be doing that anyway. Um, so this is gonna be a good eight to 15 pounds. I ordered an eight pound turkey this year. Um, this is also gonna be good if you're doing a roasted turkey breast, um, bone in or boneless, or maybe you're just roasting a chicken this year. Um, so just highly recommend this. This is gonna last you a really long time. You can also make lasagna and this make casseroles. So a lot of different uses. Um, if you are doing a, a bigger bird, for me, I really like spatchcocking my turkey, which means butterflying it or cutting out the backbone so that it's splayed out kind of like a little frog. I prefer that method because it cooks more evenly. Um, it's a lot easier to get everything to the same temperature. You get everything nice and golden and it cooks in like an hour and a half. So it's my go-to method. So I can't fit my spatchcock turkey into the smaller roasting pan. So for that, I would pull out my big USA pan sheet pan with the rack that comes with it. And that way I can put a little bit of wine and stock in the bottom and the drippings can kind of make a beautiful pan sauce. Um, so this is also a great option. Multi-use for roasting all your vegetables, your sheet pan dinners, and your cookies. So you can get a lot of mileage out of this. All right. The most important takeaway from this video, guys and girls, is a probe thermometer. When you come in and talk to me about your turkey woes, this is what I'm gonna ask that you walk out with because there is nothing in my opinion worse than a dry, overcooked turkey. No matter how expensive the bird or how cheap, if you cook it correctly and you don't overcook it, it's gonna be delicious. So this probe thermometer is gonna save the day. No recipe can work like this can. And this has a probe that goes inside of the bird, inside of the oven. This is outside of the oven. You set the temperature to what your internal temperature is. I like for my breast to be 150 and my dark meat to be about 160. And so you set it for the temperature you're looking for. It beeps when it's ready, you pull it out. It's gonna keep cooking off the heat about five to 10 degrees. So it's gonna be perfectly cooked through once it's rested and you're ready to cut it. 
but again, game changer probe thermometer. And Thermoworks, this is Thermoworks Dot. This is $44.99. It will last you forever. And you can use it for your pork chops, your tenderloins, your steaks, your chicken. You can use it for your cakes and your pies. Like, it's just a love letter to it, okay? So, get this. All right, and then once the turkey's coming out of the oven and you're resting it, just a couple of other things that I think are important. This is the Epicurean board, the larger size. It's flat on one side for all of your regular chopping. And when you flip it over, we've got this well to catch all the juices from cutting your turkey so it's not dripping all out over your countertop. I also love the little grippies. I'm sure there's a proper name for that, but you know. And this just keeps it from sliding around on your countertop. It's dishwasher safe, bleachable, bulletproof, amazing. Gravy boat, this one's just a classic. I actually think this is kind of funkier than the traditional kind. And I like that it's multi-use. This would be really good for cream in your coffee or lots of other things. But I think this would look fun on your Thanksgiving table. All right, now we're gonna talk about this beauty over here. And this is my coveted Miyabi Birchwood slicing knife. We have a lot of really fantastic carving knife options up here. We've got some Wustoff, we've got Shun, we've got Hammer Stall. But I'm a big believer in having a very special long carving knife for using for your pork tenderloins, your turkeys, your beef. It's just something you want to pull out every now and then and you want to keep nice and sharp. This is not the time to pull out the knife you use every single day. So this is the Miyabi. Let's swoon a little bit. I'm just gonna hold it up so you can see. This is the most beautiful carving knife that we have. I believe this is actually the last one. Um, but as you can see, it's long, it's a little thinner than your standard chef knife, and it's just ultra, ultra sharp. So it is just going to carve the most beautiful, elegant pieces of bird. And it's just something that's special to pull out on your holidays. and you know, everyone to fawn over. All right, so I think I've covered your turkey needs. Roasting pan or a large sheet pan, a good cutting board, a great brine, probe thermometer, and a beautiful slicing knife. So now I think it's time to move on to the sides. <laughs> I don't have a ton of stuff pulled for the sides, you know, but I have pulled my favorites. So the first, I'm gonna talk about the Gary Kunst spoon. Am I saying that right, Paul? Kunst? I say Kunz spoons, Kunz but. Spoon? K-U-N-Z, potato, potato. These are by a really famous chef who I think got even more famous because of these spoons. Um, they're not serving spoons per se. He created them as a tasting spoon, as the ultimate chef tasting spoon. Um, but I find that it is the perfect serving spoon. I have about seven of them at home and they're all I'll use. And I taste with them too. But for some reason, I just think they scoop better, they swirl better, they drizzle better. They're just, they're fantastic. And it took me a long time to drink the Kool-Aid, but when I did, I drank all the Kool-Aid. Um, so you can have this in all your serving dishes. You can be using it to drizzle your gravy, um, all of the things. Highly recommend. And the other thing I wanted to talk about was just serving dishes. We all know beautiful servingware is one of the most important parts about Thanksgiving, right? Uh, so I picked out two options for you. Um, the first is the Stove two-piece rattan set. This is running for $45.99, which is like crazy amazing. And what I like about this is that we're doing smaller Thanksgivings this year. So this gives you a couple of options to not go all in on the nine by 13 or the, the double dishes. You've got your smaller gratin dish, which is just oh, such a good size. And you could do dips in this or just, you know, macaroni and cheese for two. And then we've got a little bit bigger right here, which is gonna be just perfect for, you know, most of your, your potato gratin or your green bean casserole. So I love this and it's just perfect year round. I mean, this is not gonna be something you only pull out at Thanksgiving. So good steal right here. And just on the other end of the spectrum, um, but probably besides the Miyabi Slicer, my most lusted after piece of amazingness in the store. This is the Smithy Gratin dish. 
carbon steel. <sighs> Y'all, I mean, can you imagine serving your sweet potato souffle or your potato gratin or your stuffing in this? Well, excuse me, pardon me, dressing. I want to serve all of my things in this, but I can't afford to serve all of my things in this. Um, but this, if you're looking for something that's just gonna be an heirloom, a hostess gift for somebody this year, um, this is this is it right here. I am purchasing one for myself, and maybe I will continue to do so every year from here on after. All right, so that's just what I wanted to talk about for sides. And uh, let's wrap up with the dessert end of the spectrum. Obviously, Thanksgiving is all about pie. I like pies, I like cakes, I like cookies, I'll eat whatever you make that's got sugar in it. Um, but pie is what most people have the most questions about and are coming in here looking for, for all of our tips and tricks. So, a couple of things. I'm gonna start with the Joseph Joseph adjustable rolling pin. This thing is awesome. I discovered it at Easter last year when I did a sugar cookie tutorial and it was a game changer. I walked home, well, I drove home with one immediately and pretended to my husband that I've had it forever. Um, but this has different measurements on the end. So you can roll your crust out to different thicknesses based on your recipe. So if you have a problem with rolling out uneven pie crust where one end is thick and one is too thin, this is going to change that for you. So amazing for pie crust, amazing for cookies. Um, and it's 20 bucks, so really good price point. We've obviously got our gorgeous pie pans. These are probably my favorite, the Le Creuset deep dish. We have white, we have red, and we have this really cool matte black, so kind of fun and funky. Um, this is gonna bake a beautiful, crispy, deep pie, and you'll have this forever. Pie weights, just really nice to have if you're gonna be doing some blind baking. If you don't know what blind baking is, come find me this week. I'll walk you through it. That's what I'm here for. And then something that Paul really loves is the pie crust shield. So this is if you see that your pie crust is getting a little too dark, but your pie is not done yet, you just pop this on and it's gonna save the crust. Obviously, you could use foil, but we were joking that every year that Paul uses foil, he just kicks himself that he wishes he has a pie shield. So just go ahead and, and get it. All right, Paul, do you have any questions about my Thanksgiving favorites? No, I just keep laughing about the time we showed you the picture of the of the roasting pan when it got ordered and that you gasped <laughs> and almost cried. I did cry. <laughs> when they sent me a picture of this with the buyers to show me, I actually started crying. <laughs> and I'm never gonna live it down. It still makes me wanna cry. It's perfect. <laughs> um, well, just a couple of things to wrap it up. Um, obviously, we are open 10 to 6 every day of the week. I'm here Monday through Friday, and I can talk about all your recipe needs. This is the, the season that I live for, and I want to talk about your sides. I want to talk about your turkey. If you're not comfortable coming in, we do curbside delivery, so you can give us a call. Let us know when you're here, and we will run it out to your door. We also have cookswarehouse.com, which is always open, always shipping. So I hope that in one way or another, we can meet your Thanksgiving needs. And we do hope you have a wonderful, happy, grateful, healthy holiday. Bye. Bye. All right. So that's all of our turkey goodies.